Hi guys, so this is your friend Arun from Live in Germany channel. So today I'm back again with another informative video, guys. So first of all, I would like to thank everybody for the support. I got a lot of entries for the lucky draw for the month of February. So if you're willing to share this video with your friends and send screenshot to this number, you can also participate in order to win the Amazon Guchen of 24 euros in the lucky draw. And today's video is gonna be more of an informative video. It's called the Ruru Pension or like in the thumbnail, a tax saving product which is allowed by the German government. So I will tell about its feature, who is the target group, the pros and cons of the product. So this is definitely not a comparison between different options for retirement or an investment or a financial advice. So there are definitely other options like say ETFs, real estate, gold bars, even drinkable water. <laughs> Maybe we store a lot of gallons of water, perhaps in future it will rise price i don't know so this is not a comparison so this is just an informative video have a look and then see if this matches your requirements so each have their own preferences and choices some want to be active after retirement in order to make money some wanted to just lie down have a beer and then enjoy so whichever your category you can see which one chooses you and matches you of course so now let's go into the video Hi again guys, so let's look at what is Ruru. Yeah, before I jump in, I'll just say like uh, the Ruru, for example, was started in 2005 by a German economist in order to support freelancers to have a pension scheme because freelancers normally do not have the mandatory government pension scheme. They have no uh, compulsion to put into it. So in order to ensure that they have some kind of pension when they retire, as well as in order to save some taxes for them, this product was actually introduced. So one thing is like in the previous register, uh, for those who missed, please do check it out. So this is not a complete state subsidized scheme because in register for a child, you get 300 euros and for an adult, you get 175 euros per year, for example. So unlike that, Rurup is a pension scheme also, but it is a self-contributed pension scheme. So next uh, question is how much can we put? I'll tell later how the tax savings and all works, guys. So how much maximum is for the year 2021, we can put up to 25,787 euros. I think I said it correctly. So this is the maximum value. So when you hear it, you can see, okay, that's a lot of money around. So you can see that is basically Rurup is focused on people who have a good or a high income normally. So say 50, 60,000 as a single or individual person or as a family, if your family income is more than 100,000 euros, then this is something you can look into. I mean. Uh, also tax saving option of course so this is uh, the basic target or focus group they have so and also the maximum amount so what are the features yeah so first thing uh, it's a lifelong pension scheme so once you retire your money will be paid to you uh, for a lifetime so there is one uh, feature of this and the second feature we have in uh, in rurup is you cannot cancel Ruru. so this is uh, I'll, I'll also tell the cons and pros like i go so you cannot cancel the rope. So once you invest, you can pause the payments or you can increase and decrease depending on the income you make per year also. But you cannot cancel it. You will get the money only when you retire. Same like the government pension which we have. So only if you're willing to top up your government pension, uh, this is a really good idea uh, for everybody. So this is one important feature. The next question. Uh, which comes to our mind is okay how it is taxed when we retire so Ruru for example uh, will be taxed when you retire like when you get start getting the money in your personal tax labs so it will not be taxed like the capital gains or something like that but rather in the personal level so normally it is expected in a, during a professional life we have a higher income and then when we retire our income is lower so the tax lab will also be lower so that's why they can make use of this tax advantage for them yeah but if you expect a very high income also in your retirement age your tax benefits will be definitely a bit lower of course so this is definitely which you have to keep in mind so i uh, i want to point it out as well so this is like a lifelong scheme pension scheme uh, which you can use much for tax benefits and you cannot cancel it of course and uh, this is a tax saving product. So next feature is or next question which comes to the mind is uh, what happens if I die? Yeah. So if you die and you, you are married, your spouse can get the money uh, as a pension, of course. And if you have a child, for example, you're a single parent, 
the child will get the money till uh, they are reaching the age of 25 or till they are receiving the kinder care so this is like the uh, important question most of us have so this is i want to address it much earlier now we'll go to the point how much you can get in terms of tax savings yeah so tax savings i'll just give a rough example and also put an example uh, from a source of the last so if your family income is 100000 euros as a freelancer for example yeah so and you are investing uh, right now 10000 euros in, in the year 2021 then you can claim 92% of your contributions in the tax return so that means 9200 euros can be subtracted from your taxable income so whatever money you have put in this 9000 I mean whatever tax you have paid in this 9200 will be returned back to you so this example you see on the screen is an illustration it's a bit old but you can moreover relay for any freelancer who is making this money and then uh, investing this much into the ruru can get a tax claim per year of so much so this could be sound it exaggerated but actually as an employee we are also putting so much money so if you are an employee say 50 60000 euros for example you yourself are already uh, investing say 6000 from your pocket into the government pension scheme the employer is putting another 6000 from the pocket so already we are also actually putting this much money into the government pension so you can also top it up by adding say another 300 400 euros per month for example and then uh, ensure that you don't cross this slab of 25000 so one example so 25000 euros is the maximum slab so the employee contribution and employee contribution comes to say 14000 so 25000 minus 14000 11000 euros is the maximum you can put from your pocket into ruru or what is allowed to put so this is you can calculate individually uh, that's not a problem so this is how the ruru contribution works and how the uh, tax saving of this works so we have seen the features the advantages disadvantages so as a summary i would like to conclude that this is mainly focused on freelancers and also people who have a higher income and who want to top up their uh, existing government pension schemes and want to diversify their portfolio of course so this is all guys so i hope you like the video so please to put in comment section if you found it informative and uh, i'll come back again with other videos on how to save some more taxes in germany thank you and have a nice day bye bye